to get started. Hello everyone, welcome to the weekly Jenkins SIG infrastructure meeting. Today we are 14th of May 2024. Around the virtual table we have Mark Waite, Stephen Merle and myself Damien Duportal. Uh, we might have Kevin and or Bruno joining us later. No, okay. not Bruno. Kevin, okay. Kevin is out today. Kevin is out today. Or I expect oh. Kevin to be out today. I, I'm not sure about Bruno. Okay. So let's get, jump immediately to announcements. So the weekly 2.458. Uh, so release and war are deployed. Packages are deployed. Waiting for mirror sync. So as usual, the mirror sync is slow on one of the OSUSL mirrors. It's always the same. It's only one, but the, the way we use it, it's randomly selecting one, and then it's synchronized automatically. Um, yeah, so let's wait. Uh, Docker uh, images are being released. Tag created. Uh, she release waiting. Um, I'm not sure for the change log, has it been deployed? It it has been merged. I don't know if it's deployed yet. You okay, could check so it. It's easy to check, right? So click the change log button there and... Yep. But I think not... Uh, yeah, it's weekly. Uh, not it's yet. Not so deployed. not yet deployed. Okay. Change log merge and being deployed. Wait for Jenkins.io Dcash. Uh, Please, Dcash. Okay. That's all for uh, the weekly release, unless you have something else. So remember, tomorrow we'll have tomorrow we'll have a new LTS. Reminder. Two point four five two point one. Correct. Two point four five two point five two. Right. Four five two, not O. Okay, oh, hold on. Way back. We can change. We we, we can. Yeah. Correct. I, I grinned because Alex Brandis had listed as four 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 five one dot one on the calendar, so we've had multiple versions now. It is four <laughs> five two. Is it the LTS of Schrodinger? Or... <laughs> you don't put oh, the version uh, until ooh, it's released? Ooh, I like that. That's good. <laughs> Agreed. That's worth a Maven plugin. <laughs> Schrodinger release, yes. You don't know if it's deployed until you have finished the release process. <laughs> um, okay, I don't have other announcements as far as I can tell. Do you, folks? No. Nope. nope. Okay. So, like every week, surprise, you will have a weekly release. So, 2.459. Uh, so, the LTS, as we said yesterday, uh, tomorrow. Oh, okay. Today is hard for me. Uh, do we have an announced Jenkins SV3? We don't. We had one two weeks ago. Uh, next major event, I. I think Mark, you will be somewhere. Oh, I'm I'm this... speaking at a conference tomorrow. Yes, Mark is speaking at a conference tomorrow. And I'm okay. And I've got to leave early today because I'm speaking at a uh, Tech Strong TV event today, or I'm part of a panel discussion today. Uh, nice. Sasha Sasha could not attend, and so I'm attending in his place. It's like okay, <laughs> nice. Um. I think that's all for the next major event. Do you have something, folks? Ah, sorry, no. I got the dog issue. Okay, sorry. So just a quick check on the cloud budget now. Um, first of all, so as a reminder, last week we had a 
we were a bit over the expected budget. The expected budget was ambitious, so no worries. The mm -hmm. threshold where the expected ambitious threshold was 4.3k. We are almost at, we were almost at 4.6. Um, so we identified the culprit last week. I can remove here just to a reminder. We were using a file storage for the new update center, which wasn't premium. So since we were synchronizing every five minutes, that was costing us a lot of transactions. Uh, we also have some leftover that should have been in the subscription, uh, in the sponsored subscription, but they were on that one. That was a human mistake. We fixed these things. So we already see results. Uh, right now we have consumed uh, around 1.8K. We are almost half of the month. The forecast is almost 4.2. So we are below the expected threshold. So that's a good thing. We saw effects. And as a reminder, we have two other sources of uh, 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 billing economy here for medium or long term. So no expected action right now, most probably in the future after the new update center. First of all, the setup we use for public and private clusters, they are the two biggest consumers of uh, on our billing right now. And IRAM is not the most cost efficient in the context we are using it because we have application that require Intel machine. So we cannot pack everything on two or three IRAM machine. Mm. So we might want to look on that and we can also fine tune the size of the machines. And in the case of private kits, we have a lot of agent for InfraCI that can move to the subscription. So that will be less money to pay until we are we move this element back. Also, uh, Stefan found that the managed Redis on Azure cost us quite a lot. So in the future, we could envision using a self-managed Redis if needed, because we only use it for the mirrors. The database can be recreated quite quickly with one mirror to scan. So maybe it's not worth uh, the effort, but that will be more management for us. But if we need, that's a quick source of economy. Um, so that's the status. We should be under the threshold this month. Let's keep continuing watching it weekly. Any question for the Azure uh, usual billing? About the Azure sponsorship, we have consumed uh, almost 900 credits for this month. Uh, a forecast is at 2K, so steady compared to the two previous month. We have uh, crossed the threshold of 330K uh, credits. Uh, we expect to consume more during the month of May. It's still on the, uh, on the table. We still have two weeks to start burning money here. Mm. Uh, more on this during the uh, the task uh, the task uh, scan later. But we should be able to start using more discrete. Reminder: discrete are valid until end of August. Any question on this one? No. Thank you very much for accelerating our use of those credits. Thank you. You're welcome. Digital Oceans, the consumption is steady. Uh, so this one, we expect if we can start using Azure sponsorship for CI Jenkins IO this month, we expect not reaching the forecast because we'll stop using the clusters used by that uh, system. So maybe, maybe not, depend on we have two weeks left. Mm -hmm. But we are steady, no bad surprises here. Um, reminder around the AWS, the new account. So Mark, you sent uh, two weeks ago, I believe, uh, the request for 2025 donation. We will know in June 2024. Right. And it may be as late as even July. They said they'll make a decision in June. I don't know mm -hmm. if they'll communicate it in July, June or July. Okay. Do you have any question around the cloud budgets? Any remark, things to clarify or to discuss? Nope, okay. Let's have a quick look on the issues we were able to fix. So we had account issues. Um, thanks, Mark, for taking care of this one. So this one was the user, user error, most probably. I don't remember. You had the private email discussion with the channel, Mark. Do you remember? Yes, and, and it, it ultimately, I think it was that they just had, for whatever reason, been unable to reset their password. It really was an account issue. And and I clicked the reset password for them and it sent the email to them and they received it. So, okay. so it was not, 
Uh, I don't know. I don't know where that. I don't know the source of that stack trace. Mm -hmm. That was the thing that had me perplexed. Is I wasn't aware we were using Stapler inside the account app app, and so that surprised me. I didn't know what to think about that. So, but okay, nonetheless, it's it's a <laughs> the problem is resolved. The the person okay. said works for me. Okay, if we see other 500 error, we know that that might be a correlation pattern. Otherwise, we're okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we had another user error. A user was trying to do a manual release of a plugin. I believe it's the last re final release of that plugin because it, has, it is going to be deprecated, as I saw, the Perfecto plugin. Mm -hmm. And uh, their error was their Maven setup. The ID on their settings XML wasn't the proper one. Usually, that's what the HTTP 401 uh, indicates. Um, so, CI Jenkins, you had an issue. Yeah, that has been a week where uh, the person currently speaking, e.g., myself, uh, did broke uh, CI Jenkins IO twice. So, that one uh, this uh, last week, uh, by adding a new outbound IP to the CI Jenkins IO network, uh, I forgot to update the LDAP uh, allow list. And so when the requests were using the new brand outbound IP, they were blocked by the LDAP, creating a source of uh, error on CI Jenkins IO. So thanks, Mark, for uh, uh, pinging us on just checking. Uh, and then, yeah, we were able to quickly identify and fix it. So sorry for the inconvenience. I believe we have a, an opportunity to add an update CLI manifest here in the future. Um, but Still, we are missing some pieces on time for doing that, but that should be solved by automation. Is there any question on these issues? No, that's, thank you very much. Okay, we had an, two issues, so two user, two different distinct user uh, were marked as spam when trying to reset their password or create their account uh, because they were using an outbound IP that was uh, denied by internally by the account tab. So we decided to create their both their account manually. Uh, and a fix has been published on account tab that need to be deployed on production. Uh, we had other issue with account tab that we weren't able to release during the past two months that should be fixed. Uh, so the user account were created manually and that problem should be solved in long term soon. Any question? So, so you had said something there that I had I had missed. So we have the ability; we continue to have the ability to update the account app when needed and deploy to production. So, yes. as uh, even as old as it is, it's still we're able to make changes to it. Correct? Exactly. The Thank fact you. that we weren't able to update it during the two past month is a um, a Dumi pipeline issue that Stefan uh, I believe fixed earlier today. Great. Okay. And it's not because it's an old application. Okay. Um, we were able to close the last uh, the the issue about Datadog issue Datadog plugin destroying build data. So yesterday we upgraded to the seven o one version on CI Jenkins IO, which is the only controller using the plugin nowadays. Uh, with of course, we took a snapshot. We did the operation in pair with Stefan, and the upgrade went successfully. We don't see word builds anymore. So for now, we we propose to close the issue and continue using Datadog on CI Jenkins IO because we benefit from the pipeline observability, while we removed it on infra CI where we never used it. That's a kind of compromise that we are making. If the error happens again, yeah. It's just a word for everyone. When you see Datadog plugin upgrade on CI Jenkins IO, please don't upgrade it and plan for back taking backup, upgrading, and restoring backup if things are going wrong. Thank you. Thanks, everyone, for the help on this one. We also, at first sight, I might be wrong, but I decided to close the issue around Docs Jenkins IO. Uh, I handed over from Hervé as he's off. But looks like the website is up. Uh, mm -hmm. Everyone has access to it. So looks like it has been a nice walk. So hey, behold, the Antora based Jenkins documentation. <laughs> notice, notice how very nicely it lays out. Notice also, though, that it says and tells the user specifically, this is still a prototype. 
Uh, we're still working through it, and there are lots of things that need to be done to before we're ready to make it production. So it's, yeah, but nice. having it available as an alternate view of the documentation is a good thing. For me, it's a five years old dream. So yeah, I, I'm so happy. <laughs> right. Well, and thanks to, isn't it Dan Allen who is the Antoro maintainer? The, yes. Thanks very much to Dan. This the navigation is better. The the maintenance very very nice. Thank you. Thank I, you. I, I believe uh, Kevin, Chris, and you should be able to send uh, Dan a message uh, to say, "Hey, we are starting to use Antora." Right. That will uh, that will make a good publicity for their project. So thanks uh, everyone for the work, particularly Hervey who managed this one. Uh, we had two unplanned, closed as not planned issues. Uh, so one is a user account and the other is someone uh, mixing up our desk with the general uh, support forum. Okay, so now let's have a look at the <clears throat> work in progress issue. First one, most important one is the update center. What's the status on the new update center? So we ended over last Friday with Hervé before he went to holidays. So he was able to prepare a pull request and update it on the update center um, a regular build, the one that runs every five minutes to update and deploy new plugins to the index. So the change was to be able to build uh, the content to be deployed on the different services. One is HTTPD, and it should only be made of HT access file to build the redirections. And the other one is only the content for the mirror system. So we now have fixed the functional issue that we detected three weeks ago. It's working at least on a few requests we tested. So the next step now is to be able to deploy that pull request which require a bit of uh, shell script changes. Uh, we want to test it outside the current update center like we did last time. We might need a final re review by Daniel if it's okay. If Daniel is busy, then we will proceed. Uh, and we always have an opt out issue. So if we have a problem on production and once merge, you can always opt out. Um, we have, yeah, uh, now we need to under different uh, credential that was the most complicated part to manage both file shares uh, but looks like it's work but based on the last survey test uh, so the next step now we we need to finish the update center uh, start complete functional and performance stress test again so Hervé have shared in LDS repository the scripts and data is using so we need now to hit that service and see when it breaks and if it breaks before or after the current one and uh, Stefan uh, volunteered, or I made it volunteer. I don't remember. <laughs> so one of these. The best, of course, yeah. So Stefan will have to create a second Cloudflare mirror for that system that will be in the US East. So we will open the web service with two mirrors on two different geographical location because the current one is in Europe. Um, I'm... So we will work on the first and the last part this week, most probably the functional and performance stress test will be next week. Is that okay for everyone? Yes. Okay. Uh, I will let Stefan speak a bit around the minor issues, but that will unblock us. So can you explain the status for the Packer image bug, uh, Stefan, while I'm taking notes? Yes. In fact, um, we realized that since we we uh, update the GOS file for Windows to um, check Visual Studio only for Windows 2019, we kind of broke all the update CLI uh, work, meaning that the Packer image was not uh, updating yourself since like three weeks. Um, I find a way to change the GOS file to comply with update CLI, but doing so uh, make it uh, uh, make it not working through GOS. So it's either one or the other. Um, as it's uh, uh, more important for us to have update CLI working, I choose to leave the error on, on GOS and I opened an issue on the GOS website explaining the problem um, because in fact, 
uh, it should be able, I think, to uh, to understand the string through as a boolean or the string the string false as a boolean. I ask for advice and kind of bug issue, so we will see if they uh, if they uh, um, offer any solution. And uh, and if not, I may have to ask uh, uh, update CLI to improve itself the porting of YAML because I'm not quite sure that the the string is not YAML because if I test the string, it seems to be YAML compliant. So either way, we'll see. So for now, the the ghost check is skipped for both uh, because of that that error. Uh, short term fix disabling the cost <clears throat> okay for what it's worth it update CLI features two different YAML parser so right now I believe you've tried the default one I remember there is a way to specify the alternate YAML parser so that might help oh, you cool. on that one I forgot about this uh, when you discussed yesterday uh, so I was checking uh, the documentation because yeah, remember, well, other users checking, have that kind of issue. I was checking within the the source code, and I saw the import and the and the parser, and I went on the on the website. I also downloaded um, um, Cli utility uh, to to try the 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 YAML, and it did show the good colors and and no error. So I'm I'm kind of mm -hmm. don't really know uh, what's wrong there. I, I believe check the update CLI alternative YAML parser. Most probably okay. that will solve the issue. If it doesn't, then we can uh, describe the problem to Olivier. Okay. But uh, thanks because now uh, yesterday we had 28 pull requests to merge on Packer image. Yeah, Packer image <laughs> you know, yeah. Because we haven't updated since three weeks. So we have GDK, GHGLI, etc. So we can release updated image this week. We will wait uh, after the LTS so we can we don't spread the effort. Not because it's safer or not safer, but because we will have to focus on LTS and other tasks. Okay, Mark, your turn on the war ASC uh, file to deploy. Yeah, still working on it. I've got I've got more work to do. The uh, the refactoring is to first. Uh, create a new download target in the release repository, the one that's accessible to infra team or that is administered by infra team, and then use that elsewhere in the packaging so that we've got the two. It's um, it'll be a while, just lots of things to slow that one down. And I apologize, I have to drop off now, so I'll leave okay. the two of you to continue. No problem. Bye bye. See you, Mark. Okay, next topic is need approval for account creation. I propose that we close that issue because the user never answered. So it looks like they try to use multiple accounts on the same web browser. I don't know. So I'm closing the issue. Closing as no answer from requester, which is 90% of our issues for our contact. Okay. <clears throat> Next issue. Uh, Stefan, still for you. Wiki Docker Confluence Data deprecated update CLI manifest. Yes, so that's that's an easy one. The, the update CLI manifest was uh, for that Docker Confluence Data was uh, old and needed some refreshing, which I did. Mm -hmm. And uh, the pull request uh, needs review, I think. It's all, but it's working. I've I've merged it. Oh, cool. Uh, so let's see if it created. Yeah, I see two pull requests. OK, cool. Mm -hmm. So it cannot build, but <laughs> we <laughs> have a proper. Else. OK. Uh, new updates CLI. Pair opened, whip, review the new pair 
and close once a new version of the <clears throat> Docker image is deployed to production with Genix 1.26. Is that okay for you, Stefan? Yes. Okay. Um, next issues. Uh, I'm going to start with the status on the new agent cluster for CI Jenkins IO. So we have a new cluster. I'm opening the issue. We have a new cluster in AKS. Um, new AKS cluster Terraform managed is up and running. No connectivity issues or uh, uh, or any bad surprises from Azure Advisor. Uh, so Stefan, I've removed the NSG that I built for inbound agents. Uh, no NSG for the subnet. Otherwise, blocks the kubelet. So I've uh, documented on the issue uh, okay. because we have pod to pod to external services, pod to pod, kubelet to pod issue that were blocked because um, of the new CNI we're using, the new CNI overlay network needs to check with network policies. So network policies is the equivalent of NSG, but inside Kubernetes. So that will fit our needs to ensure that pods cannot talk to each other. So that will be, in any case, uh, really useful for the other clusters. New cluster under Kubernetes management with admin user, Datadog up and running, CI Jenkins agent, ready to roll. So what are the next steps now? Um, uh, add this cluster to ci.go, verify, and proceed. Not ACP needs to run internally. Clean up. And then profit. Any question on this one? What do you mean ACP need to run internally? We won't create an ingress. So only the agent oh, yeah. inside that Sorry. cluster will have access to the ACP agency. Got it. Um, so now delayed actions. Uh, so we have the enabling to AFA on Jenkins CI and PM accounts. Uh, Hervé had everything required, but he did not have the time, except the time, of course. So we will delay until he's back. When Hervé is back from holidays. Uh, and oh yeah, that one is also delayed. So abort and remove immediately. Uh, builds on CI on infra CI. Uh, new team member will take this in June, July. So that's why I've marked that uh, issue. I will mark this issue as delayed. No objection. Uh, and then we have the not done, still to do. Um, we have. The two Jenkins mirror and artifactory request, all of these are on my site. Uh, I'm late on that topic, sorry for that. Um, Hervé wanted to help me on this one, but he was too busy on the update center. Uh, same for me. And now we have, uh, Stefan, your turn yes. uh, about the Akuntap. So we mentioned the Akuntap issue. Uh, we weren't able to deliver it until uh, today. So can you... Uh, give us a summary of that issue. Build stuck waiting for GDK 17 yes, late. In fact, uh, Hervé did a, did the pull request, and the problem was mm -hmm. that the ARM agent didn't have the by default the GDK 17 
but the GTK 11. Um, we choose, we, can, we will proceed to the uh, upgrade of the all-in-one agent to be by default with the GTK 17. But for now, we were able to force the Java home within the, the um, environment variable. And, uh, but, but the problem we discovered when it was running is that Selenium, uh, which is used uh, during the building process, um, is not working with the ARM agent. So I went back to an Intel AMD64 and it worked. So, so I, I took on myself to remove the draft of that pull request of Hervé and ping you for a review because I feel like it's, it's okay now. Approved and merged. So I, I missed that, that approved and merged part. Check Akuntap is properly released. The builds you, the were working image. for that pull request um, uh, both on CI and Infra. The last build. I haven't seen your releases since uh, <clears throat> February. No, the build of that pull request. I haven't seen you merging it. Oh, so yes. I'm, okay. I'm sure. And so we will close the issue once new Akuntap um, version deployed to production. Yes. OK, cool. Thanks for the help. And finally, one last issue added by Hervé on the go um, around Blue Ocean. Uh, use, you, used to be the default when you clicked on link from the GitHub notification on CI Jenkins IO and other controller, controllers. Um, so as far as I remember, Infra CI and Winkly CI uh, failed to apply the Hervé's change. So he rolled back and say, I'm going to check it once he will be uh, back from holidays. No, that's not what he's written. He did apply on infra. Ah, no, weekly, yeah, you're right. Rolled back on CI. Not on CI. Okay. So that issue is delayed until Hervé is able to properly test it uh, when it's back. Okay, let me move it to read delayed actions. Good catch. Thanks, uh, Stefan. Are you welcome? Uh, infra CI and weekly CI done with success. Delayed for CI.go as it failed. Uh, Hervé will take this back once uh, this once back from holidays. So we keep the not done still to do. Uh, the delayed action will be moved to the uh, corresponding milestones. Okay. Uh, now let's look at. The issue we already delayed a few weeks ago to the milestone for this week. So the new milestone has two issues. The first one is migrate storage from premium to standard for Jenkins Infra weekly and Jenkins release. Uh, Stefan, that, is that okay for you that we keep that issue as the big task for you for the upcoming milestone? Yes, we'll try, yes. Okay, so the first step will be for you to uh, uh, put your brain back into the subject and prepare uh, the next uh, operation that was weekly.ci, as far as I remember. Uh, yes. yep. We can do it tomorrow, even if it's during the LTS. That's not a problem because there is no LTS uh, controller on that cluster. So you can start planning for tomorrow if you're okay or first day, or I don't mind. We'll try. Good for you? Yes. Cool. So let's add the tissue. Um, new issues. Okay, let me add the, uh, the title here. That will be way better for readers. Weekly.ci will be the first. Okay, the other task is support CD workflow on Windows. So I gave an answer to Pierrick uh, because there were misunderstandings as far as I understand. So I explained that yeah, uh, we follow what Basil said. 
Uh, Pierrick wasn't available because it's too late for him uh, to join the meeting today to discuss the topic. Uh, most probably, uh, yeah, we will need help on that topic to support CD workflow or WinP. So if you're interested on uh, WinP Java deployment, uh, we will need help, especially shaping uh, the CD action that we use for automatic deployment in a secure and safe way in the future. Uh, or if you're interested into maintaining WinP. So that means I'm going to remove, because there is no action right now, I'm going to remove from Milestone. We don't have the time, neither the skills. We can help if needed by providing certificates, but right now someone needs to take that subject, which is a top level subject. So the infra team doesn't have the bandwidth for managing that. We can help, but we cannot drive. So I'm going to also remove the try H. And yeah. Uh, that's all. Is there any question need for clarification? So thanks, Pierrick, for the huge work you already did on WinP. It's only the CD part that is missing and then someone maintaining the components. But that was already a great cleanup. So really many thanks for the help here. Do we have new issues? Issue number issues. No, that one is still on try H. Okay, we don't have other new issues. Stefan, do you have other uh, topic that you want to add for the current milestone? No. No. Nothing that's coming to my brain. Okay, so we have a lot of work to continue using. Uh, yeah, next goal is let's hope that weekly CI will have a proper uh, a proper disk for next week, and that we CI Jenkins IO will be able to use AKS instead of uh, Amazon and Digital Ocean. So I'm stopping screen share. Okay. Thanks, everyone. See you next week. And thanks for the help. Bye. Bye bye.